Tonight, Halloween spirit or pushing the limit? 13 Action News digs deeper into the decorations in a valley neighborhood. And those controversial decorations are right here behind me. And the question some people are asking in this Summerlin neighborhood tonight is, would you want to bring your kid trick-or-treating past decorations like these? Hanging heads and bloody babies with poles through their bodies. Amazing Halloween creativity or too gruesome and offensive for children. Yeah, that's not okay. I mean, honestly, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's Halloween. Isn't this like normal? This Summerlin home is stirring up controversy on social media. Opinions in the neighborhood varied. Probably the scary heads are okay, but with the babies, it's probably taking it a step too far. The people disturbed by these decorations want to know what the homeowners were thinking. I think it's hilarious. I had no idea. Because it's just <laughs> Halloween decorations. We're just, we saw stuff, we thought it was cool looking, and we did but it. There was no intentions to offend anybody. Ryan and Kelsey have been decorating like this for years. Kelsey is a hairstylist, hence the mannequin heads, and the bloody babies idea she got from Pinterest. No bad intentions, just Halloween fun. Their direct neighbors understand. They know us, they know what we're about, so they see it quite a bit, but I can see how it'll come off uh, not that great to people that don't know us. <laughs> the couple says if you are offended, these decorations will come down the day after Halloween, November 1st, and then they will immediately decorate for Christmas with thousands of lights. Reporting live tonight, Gina Lazara, 13 Action News. Thank you, Gina.